Sagittarius Midheaven, let me entertain you. Ooh, spirit fingers. This is my child's room, the crib. Anyway, this is the first installment of my Midheaven series. So this is like really exciting. And I decided to start with myself. I am a Sagittarius Midheaven. This is not your sun sign. This is not your ascendant sign. This is not your moon sign. This is your Midheaven. So if you were born in November or December and you're here because you wanna hear about Sagittarius, this is not necessarily going to be you. This is when you were born any time of the year, but the exact time you were born puts your midheaven, your MC line in Sagittarius. And if you want to figure that out, I have a link below to some websites that you can find out your midheaven. If you can't find it, ask somebody in the comments and you know just let people know, help each other out. The midheaven then, the MC, the medium coli, is represented of your public persona, who you are on this public stage, your fame point. This is me giving an interview. This is me putting on a video for everybody. This is me on Facebook. This is me in my job. And on a more important note, this is me and my ego conscience. This is who I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to do. This is what I figured out about myself when I was around six years old. It doesn't have anything to do with who you are one-on-one. -on -one. It has everything to do with who you believe you are in the world. If your MC is in Sagittarius, your IC is in Gemini. And that is basically how you relate to yourself, how you are in your home life and a lot of how your parents raised you and what kind of person you were as a result of that. If you have a Sagittarius midheaven, you seem to be super outgoing and all of the fire sign traits, but on your IC you have Gemini there. A lot of time mainly spent in their childhood talking to themselves, you know, creating things having epiphanies in their own little world, learning how to play music by themselves, learning how to draw on their own. They are predominantly self-taught and creative. A Gemini is the communicator of all the signs, but if it's in your own little world, you're going to be an internal talker. You're going to have that deep emotional social life on your own. You might bring in people too. Me, my brother, and my sister, all different signs, and we all have a Gemini I see. I would read my sister's poetry, I'd read my brother's. Me and my brother would have art contests. Who could draw better? And we would give it to my mom, and she would rate us, and it, she was ridiculous, and would always say, you're better at this, and you're better at that, and we knew who was better. This shot us into our Sagittarius MC. And around six years old is around the time you do develop your ego conscience, your view of yourself in the world, where you're probably shy or in a ways a loner. You're an observer. You've always looked around and you decided as a child what you were going to be better than. Since your MC is basically a fame point, the part of you that you want to exploit, as a Sagittarius, which is a very competitive, fiery sign, you want to exploit yourself better than everybody else. You are a perfectionist. You want to get things right. And now Sagittarius is a very fun-loving sign, okay? And if you are a Sagittarius sun sign, you just exude this life and adventure and travel and knowledge. When it's your MC, 
your midheaven, your fame point. This is what you want to be known as. This is how you want to be seen. You want to be seen as educated, knowledgeable, interesting, factual, logical, exciting, funny, smart, engaging, different, unique, happy. So even if your world is dying, you don't tell people that it is. You're kind of shutting off all your other aspects around people. Those are things that you deal with on your own. Around other people, you're happy and sunshiny because it's a facade. It's how you feel you need to relate to the world. And when you relate to the world in a Sagittarius type way, you are relating to them in a happy way. You're going to pick and choose the points you want people to know. As a Sagittarius in heaven, you want to be the best. And the best is not some weak, little, insecure, depressed person. No, you don't want to be seen like that at all. You want to be seen as somebody who is special and important. You want to be famous. You do. You have it in you. You want to be big because you're competing. There, when you're competing for your position in this world, you don't stop ever because there's always somebody better than you that you have to rise above. You need more and more and more. And now this isn't bad and it's not good. There's obviously two sides to every single story. Okay, wanting more is not bad. Being unhappy with what you have is bad. If you have a drive and a passion to get more, if you don't have that, if you're not having that, you're not going to accomplish anything. And Michael Jackson, Sagittarius Midheaven, would not have invented the moonwalk, would not have entertained people if he didn't want more. Was he happy with what he had? No. A million nose jobs later, no. And ultimately, that is depressing and sad. But he wanted to be happy. And he wanted to show you happiness and entertain you. When I was a kid, and you asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, I said famous. I didn't really know what I wanted to be famous for. I figured I should be an actress because that's who are famous. You know, later on as I got older, I was like, oh, I could be a writer. Or I could invent something. Or I could be a dancer. I should probably dance. I tried out for things that I wasn't good at. On my church's dance team, I really wanted to be a cheerleader. I never tried out because I actually knew that I couldn't do certain things that they needed you to do, like the splits or have rhythm. But I wanted those things because I wanted to perform. If your kid is born with a Sagittarius midheaven, you should put them in a lot of things so that they can like find their craft and get good at something. Because what you want to do with your Sagittarius midheaven is just be awesome at a bunch of things and just be better than everybody at everything. And it's exhausting. <laughs> I found that I wanted to make myself into something that was better. Now I'm sounding like super insecure. And Sagittarius is an insecure sign. So it makes sense. Your public image is based on something that's not real, but it is real because it's a part of you. It's how you want to be reflected. It's how you want people to see you and you want to be the best. This is also your online persona. So when you're on Facebook, you don't like to post statuses or anything unless they are funny, witty, something that people will like. You will kind of be a like whore. You kind of want people to be like, yeah, that was really cool. Good for you. That was a good thing. Like, 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 I liked what you wrote. And if it doesn't get enough of these likes, you might want to delete it because it's embarrassing to put out work that's not perfect. It's embarrassing. And when I make these videos, I get embarrassed sometimes. When I put out something that I think is mediocre, I get embarrassed when somebody dislikes it. It's like a someone who dislikes me. And it's not like a Sagittarius Midheaven can't handle criticism. It's just that they take criticism very hard because nobody is more critiquing on a Sagittarius MC than themselves. You can't make me feel bad about myself. I already do. 
I already want to be better than my last one. When a Sagittarius midheaven puts out good work, it's when they don't think about it. Because as soon as they overthink, it starts sucking. They can't do it anymore. But what you have that's amazing is being a Sagittarius midheaven is the ability to do anything and do it right and well and good and above average the first time if you just do it. You should have faith in yourself in that way. That if you want to do something, just do it. Um, what with Paltrow, I read like blind gossip and stuff, like just if you go to blindgossip.com and everybody's always ripped it on Gwyneth Paltrow. People hate her. They call her goopy. Goopy. It's so mean. Poor Gwyneth Paltrow. But she's always like trying to present herself in the best way possible. Therefore, she makes people feel bad about themselves. <laughs> and they don't like that because she's so perfect and walks around like she's so perfect and just does everything so perfectly and tries to tell other people how to be perfect just like her. Sagittarius Midheavens just that's what they're going for. You're a perfectionist. You want to be the best. You keep needing to add things to your empire and whether or not you're famous or not famous your purpose as a human being is to do that because if it wasn't for that insecure push in this career world. And whether or not you wanna be an actress or a singer or a dancer or a lawyer or something else, you want more. If you weren't going out and trying to get that more, there would be so much that has not been seen by the world. It takes those Sagittarius in heaven a little while to actually get up the courage. And because cr criticism is affects them so much because what I'm doing there's like a fine line I'm exposing myself and it's scary but you have to do it you have to get more and it takes a little while because you do live in this internal world and Gemini is talking to you you are talking it, and sometimes it's not what you want to be saying to yourself Sometimes Gemini's being mean. Sometimes you're just like, you suck. You're never going to amount to anything. Everybody else is better at this than you are. You can't do it. But then Sag MC comes out eventually. And it's like, no, no, I have to do it now. I have to be better. I won't allow someone to be better than me. It's not the easiest thing to deal with on the regular basis. But it's... It's what you do. The one thing that I'd say to you, stop focusing on fame. Stop focusing on that recognition. Stop focusing on you're going to show them all the people who are mean to you. You need to focus on yourself. Give time for yourself. And give yourself the moments to analyze what you're going to do so you're not doing it out of pure a com pure competitive spirit so that you are who you're portraying as a happy person that even though you're a perfectionist and you don't like it when people are do things that you can do that are better let them do it be happy for them and it's something that I've been learning a lot is how to be happy for people who can do things that I can't do and not to try to do them because then you get too much on your plate too much is happening and you're, you're you're spinning too many plates up in the air trying to be trying to be good at them all and you can't be and work really hard on those things that you're good at and make them the greatest and and change the way things are done Sagittarius is travel knowledge change it's like you're you want to accept Experience and you don't like things when they're stagnant and staying the same in your profession. Like you want it to be different and you want to change it and you want to believe that you can. I'm not going to tell you to not fight. You got to fight. You always got to fight. That's your Sagittarius Manhattan. I'll be back later with another one. Goodbye.